Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the final week of December 2021. I hope you guys are doing well and have had a good Christmas. I do want to take just a quick second here to remind everyone that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. If you find that that is a situation with you, I do encourage you to check your other signs and placements. See if those readings may resonate uh, just a little bit better. If uh, you find that the reading is resonating, but the energies are flipped or reversed, that is not at all uncommon um, in a general reading. So um, if you would like a personal reading, the information is in the box beneath the video. All right, let's get started, guys. Spirit, can I have the energy of Pisces? Energy of Pisces. Pisces, we start out with the Ten of Coins. We have the King of Swords in the reverse, and we have the Three of Swords. Okay, so Pisces, um, there is something that is either concerning your money or concerning something, a connection that is long-term. But I think you might be a little upset about this. Um, something has happened, and it's left you feeling angry and emotionally, you know, hurt. So, yeah, there's um, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of um, pain in this situation for you. But it's also you're also a little bit angry about it as well, and it has something to do with either finances, either money. And when I say money, it, it looks like it's long, like like um, family money maybe. Could be something to do with inheritance or something along those lines. Um, but if it's not money related, it has to do with a long-term connection. Let's see who you're connecting with here. Spirit, who is Pisces connecting with? Who is Pisces connecting with? Okay, we have the Magician in the reverse, we have the Page of Coins, and then coming out together we have the Two of Swords reversed along with the World in reverse. Okay, so the person you're connecting with, um, we do have the energy of Gemini. But I do feel like the person you're connecting with, they're either unable to manifest something financial here, if this is financial, or it could be um, that they're unable to manifest something that is an offer or a, an increase of some kind. There is a decision that's been made. Now this decision this person has made is either with regard to traveling and they would have decided if it has to do with travel to not to travel or there's a decision not to close something out not to close out a cycle or the or the cycles not closing out because of a decision um, there's something that is just not finalized here and it's not finalized because it's not it's failing to manifest now, for some of you, this person may have, there may have been some manipulation involved. And it would involve either a offer of money or it would have involved some kind of communication. But I get a strong sense of some sort of manipulation. And that would explain why there is anger and why it's painful. The pain is more associated with whatever this cycle is that's not closing out, though. Let's see the energy of this connection. Because it's like it's it's carrying on when it should be closing out. Um, what is the energy of the connection, Spirit? Yeah, Ten of Cups reversed. Neither party's happy here. Neither party is happy with how things are turning out. Um, a lot of emotional discontentment on both sides. 
What is directly affecting this? Page of Cups in the reverse. So holding back. Both parties holding back. Some immaturity. A lot of immaturity. Primarily um, for the person connected here. But I also feel like due to anger and pain that Pisces it might have taken you out of your character as well a little bit not as much as over here um, what is the outcome at the end of the week all right we have the five of wands we have the chariot in reverse so kind of stuck in conflict by the end of the week not moving forward and and it's the same energy I'm seeing here um, this cycle's not closing out. So it's a, be, a feeling of being stuck in this conflict. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords. So this indicates that the underlying energy here is one of anxiety. There's a lot of anxiety involved in this situation. Let's clarify. All right, Spirit, why is the Ten of Coins here? We have the Two of Swords, I'm sorry, the Two of Rods in the reverse, and again with the Five of Wands. So there's conflict here over either money or a long-term connection. And the conflict has to do with someone being at a crossroads and not making a decision or not taking a... a um, not, not choosing a direction, not choosing a particular direction. For some, it has to do with travel again. So the conflict would have been over this person, I would think, having to do with travel, choosing not to travel. If that is, if there's a distance between the two, there could have been a conflict over that. So this might be a long-term connection that is, um, there's distance between the two and perhaps this person has chosen not to travel uh, for the holidays. And there's conflict over this and it's caused, you know, it's caused some difficulties here. For some though, this is absolutely about something to do with finances or money. Um, but there's conflict nevertheless, and it has to do with a, it has to do with someone being at a crossroads and not choosing the direction that Pisces you were hoping they would. Now, why is the King of Swords here in reverse? I'm going to have to get that card. It just went all the way over. One moment, please. All right, we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. You might be dealing with a fire sign. That would be a um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And we have the Nine of Cups. Okay, so with the um, Nine of Cups, sometimes that can include um, some drinking. So hopefully you have not been, you know, overindulging in drink. Pisces, but for some of you that might be the case. Um, but I do see that there's an anger here with regard to a lack of action and somebody's desire, somebody's wish. Okay, somebody getting what it is that they wanted. So Pisces it's very clear that you there was something here that you wanted and this person chose opposite of what you wanted they were at a crossroads they had a choice and they didn't choose to act in the way that you wanted them to um, and you're up you were angry about it you were upset about that why is the three of swords here why is the three of swords here Okay, we have the devil, sign of Capricorn, and the sun. Yeah, realizing that um, 
that there has to be a end to a toxic situation. So realizing you have to have to get rid of something that's very toxic, um, having clarity in this situation that that there's something toxic that's making you very sad, that's making you very feel hurt, that's causing you pain, and realizing this has to end, this toxic situation has to end. So something here happened, and it it's it's led you first to be angry then to be hurt and sad and then to have some insight into the fact that there's something toxic that needs to end let's look at this person that you're connecting with spirit why is the magician here okay we have the three of coins reversed and we have judgment So what did not manifest was this Three of Coins. The Three of Coins is a contract. Um, it's a contract. It can be an unspoken contract. It can be a, um, a literal contract, but it didn't manifest. Um, and the Three of Coins is also a foundation. So the foundation here did not manifest. It didn't, um, it didn't pan out. There's also a lack of cooperation. So there's a lack of cooperation towards what? Well, towards a coming back together, towards a reunion. So this did not manifest. This reunion here did not manifest because there is a lack of stability and a lack of cooperation why is the page of coins here why is the page of coins here okay we have the wheel of fortune in the reverse more of that stuck energy we have the Ten of Cups in the upright. Now, in the connection, it's in the reverse. And we have the Nine of Coins in the reverse. So, your person with this Page of Coins, the offer here, this Page of Coins, this offer to either level things up, to bring it together, to, um, if it's financial, to... You know, if this is a, a, a financial offer, if this has to do with money, all of this has gone, it, it's stalled. It's, it's stopped. It has not moved forward in a positive manner. The person you're connected with would like for it to, though. They would like for it to, but, and that's what would make them happy. It, it, it is what would make them happy. Um... But there is a issue here with there's an issue here with a lack of uh, how do I word this a lack of confidence perhaps there's a lack of confidence that is keeping this from moving in a positive direction and I do feel that this person would like a connection so if this is financial this person does want to be prosperous but there's a sense of there's a lack of confidence in their ability to become prosperous okay it is what they really want and so therefore things are stalled if this has to do with a relationship or connection then there's a lack of confidence in in themselves basically and I feel as if that is what's causing this connection to stall. But they do want that. They want relationship. They want, it would make them happy to have that. So the offer here is stalling. It's, it's stalled. Everything is kind of stuck. Uh, let's look at this bottom energy. And that's why it's not manifesting. You can't manifest um, positive things from a negative 
or a insecure standpoint. The vibration has to be high. All right, we have the Page of Swords reversed. We have the Queen of Cups reversed. That is your energy there, Pisces. And then we have the Three of Cups. Okay, so this person is very well aware that you're not happy with them. Um, and I do feel that, you know, both parties may be holding back a little bit. The, there's a decision, that decision to hold back has been made by this person. They, they know you're unhappy with them. And the Page of Swords indicates that this is not something that they're, they're discussing. There's a, there is a decision here that they're, they're not talking about. They're not discussing. Um, and they may have made this decision with a lack of knowledge as well. They, they may have made this decision not really having enough, um, not being well informed. And that's what's caused some of this problem. The, um, the world in reverse indicates to me that Again, it's that stalled energy. It's, it's keeping things from moving forward. There's a cycle not closing out and things are not completing. Um, if this person is holding back emotionally and they've made a decision not to, not to um, travel, if there's a travel issue, this person is going out. Um, they're holding back emotions, and they're not telling you that they're going out. They may be, they may be going out. So that's, uh, that's something that they may not be telling you because they know that that's going to make you unhappy and upset. So just be aware of that. If there's a distance here, this person is going out, and they're not telling you. Let's look at the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Because I feel like neither party is very happy in this connection right now. Oh yeah. We have the Seven of Swords reversed. And again, <laughs> Chariot in reverse. So more stalled energy, not moving forward. I, I feel like this person is, you know, this person is, there's some insecurity here. But I, I feel like while that might be the root, there's also a decision to stall this. Like they're feeling that they're not quite ready. Like they might be feeling that if they move forward in this connection, that there's something they could be missing out on. Um, you're not happy because you feel that you've been deceived here. You feel that you've discovered some form of deception at at the worst and at best you feel that you're being avoided so take what resonates for you um, your person is is not moving forward again this is a card of travel um, so they're they're not traveling if if there's a distance um, I keep seeing that for whoever that is for yeah and I think you're sensing that there's some deception involved with that. And there is, according to the cards. This person is going out. Now, I don't know if they're going out with, you know, another love interest or not. I'm not seeing that. Um, but they could be going out with friends, partying. Let's see why is the Page of Cups here in reverse. And they're not telling you that they're going out. They have the chariot in reverse twice. Knight of Cups reversed. Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, both parties holding back. This is what's directly affecting this connection. So there is a there is either a large sum of money at stake, if this is financial. So 
if there is a financial uh, thing, there's a large stake of money at, at play here. And both parties are kind of trying not to get too emotionally tied in this situation. So you in particular, Pisces, are really holding back. Really holding back. The person you're connected with, um, this could have been the death of a mother, the death of a grandmother, perhaps. It could have been, um, it could have been, it, it feels as if it's a matriarch or a, a female um, person that would have died and perhaps left this money. But both parties are trying not to be overly emotional about it. Um, I will say there's some immaturity, though, that is taking place. Now, if this has to do with relationship and it's not money-related, I do see that there is this stable beginning that is on the table. That's what this offer is. However, I feel like... Um, I feel like with this Queen of Pentacles that whoever is the feminine energy is not accepting it at this point. There's a there's something to do with possibly a baby mama, an ex that is affecting this situation. Um, there could be an ex involved. There could be a, a even a mother or a mother-in-law or you know there's there's something to do with a female presence um, that sh should be in the past that is affecting this connection. I see you pulling back. I see you really pulling back, Pisces, because there's deception, there's anger, there's pain. Um, I see you pulling back. So let's look at the bottom. Um, energy. The outcome spirit. Clarify the outcome. Alright, we have the magician. <laughs> More stuck energy. Um, yeah, six of, of swords in the reverse. And we have the emperor. Alright, so I feel like um, I feel like you're manifesting here, which is positive, and you are manifesting in a very positive manner. Um, there is going to be conflict though, and that conflict um, is because of this uh, this stuck energy. So I think you're manifesting here, Pisces, for this person to take action, to take control of the situation, because they're. Over here, they're not taking control of this situation. So I think you're manifesting that. And both parties are wanting to move away from this chaos. There is that desire to move into something that's a little bit smoother, less chaotic, something happier. Um, you're manifesting it. And I do believe that they will take charge of this situation. But it's not going to happen next week. It's going to take some time. It's, it's, it, there's a lot of stuck energy here. And it's really on this person's side. Um, and I can see it's been very painful for you. So that's where all this anxiety is coming from. Yeah, right here again. Page of Cups in the reverse is underlying energy. So again, it's that immaturity. Holding back um, emotion. Trying not to get... Um, tied into the immaturity of it, trying not to get tied into the emotional aspects of it that are not positive. So, if this is financially related, um, I feel like whoever, um, if, if there was a an amount of money that was left, if it's an, an inheritance, whoever is the patriarch of the family may may take over here in order to try to shift this energy. So, all right, I'm going to pull from the Hidden Truth Oracles and see if there's any further messages. And it looks like there is. Ah, 
only one message. Okay, let's see. That's that's not the norm. I think there was one other sign that got that. Can't remember who it was, though. So. Um, oh, look at that. You were the best thing in my life. Mm. So I feel like you're pulling away from this person. They're feeling it. And I feel like um, that may be what it takes to get them in gear. I, I also feel like there is some somebody, um, a female presence that might be interfering in some manner. Um, and I do think that they will eventually take charge of the situation, but it's going to take a while. So, all right. Well, I hope this has been helpful, Pisces. Um, if you would like and share the video, be sure to um, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you would like to drop me a comment, go ahead and feel free to do so. I do read all of them. So until I see you in the new year, namaste.